All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to a pretty fun video here. We got Freshly Brewed, the show that's not really a show yet, but I'm working on it, where I just brew up a new deck. And this one's all about... You said to bring this in. I was trying to time myself between shows. It didn't work. It didn't work. Sydney interrupts you all the time. This is going to be our new thing on stream. We're like, it just, the, the shtick is just like, whenever I try and start a video, you just walk in. Is that what we're going to do? That's kind of how it works. Yeah. I didn't walk in in the beginning of your mod video. It was too early. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Video's ruined. Everyone go home. So, go home. freshly brewed. Except for Zibby. Zibby is interested. He's like, what's going on? I want to Zibby's like, I want to run the video too. Can I ruin the video too? Hi, everybody. The whole stream is ruined. I hold the whole thing. I, I know. So, the whole thing. Bent Astral Slide. What's going on here? A lot of things are going on here. This deck is gas. Thank you. You're welcome. So, we are playing a new card. That's also an old card. This is the new card. Just like the old card. Astral Drift. Three minutes enchantment. Um, a lot of words on here. <laughs> Whenever we, you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do, return the card to the... Beginner's uh, owner's control, beginning of next end step. So this is basically just astral slide, just updated to have cycling as well, and a lot less elegant because the uh, the the wording is super awkward. Basically, how this works is when this enchantment is in play. You cycle something, and you get to flicker a permanent, flicker wisp a permanent out to end of turn. Right. So obviously very good against creature decks because we're going to cycle out our opponent's creatures, and um, they're not going to be able to attack us ever again. That's really cool. So we have Astral Drift, and then we also have Amonkhet Staple, Drakehaven, um, where uh, same thing, cycle or discard a card, pay one, get a 2-2 flyer. It's actually pretty good. So we're building around this shell, and one of the things is that we have uh, got to play Cyclers, and most of our Cyclers are kind of expensive, but they cycle for one. So... Our one drops are our cyclers, allowing us to play Chalice of the Void, right? So we get the Chalice of the Void, lock the people out of the, off their one drops. We get to cycle out, cycle out all their creatures. And what's our cycling food here? Well, we have the Center's Deliverance, Kill an Artifact Cycling, good card to have in this format. Four Hieroglyphic Illumination. We're going to be cycling this most of the time, but occasionally we can cast it if you want to. And then we have our eight cycling lands. Modern Horizons brought a lot of bad things to Modern, but it brought some good things, too. It brought the Onslaught Cycling Lands, Lonely Sandbar, and Tranquil Thicket. So that's our, our main cycling engine. And with Life from Alone, we get them back, cycle, get them back, cycle. Raise your hand in chat if you're playing Extended when this was a thing, because it was a pretty big thing in Extended a long, long time ago. So Life from Alone plus Cycle Lands, that's our big cycle engine. So we have our few cyclers, our eight cycle lands, our three Life from Alones, um, and then we're going to build around that. So by building around that, we've got three force negations. Uh, I've got to have some interaction here, of course. Uh, i got three force negations. Teferi Time Raveler is uh, just obviously a very powerful card, but also gives us the ability to life from alone at instant speed, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have some growth spirals and an explore here to make sure we're getting a, getting ahead on lands. And then uh, we got some factor fictions. This card might not be right, right in the deck, but I could not play Factor Fiction to go alongside Reclamation. So we have a lot of mana. We're cycling things on our turn. We get to untap our lands, keep cycling things again, which is pretty cool. And uh, Reclamation, Factor Fiction. Reclamation, of course, plays great with both Illumination and Factor Fiction. Oh, we got a Wrath in here, just in case we got to clean up everything. And then our win conditions are basically Drakes from Drakehaven, as well as Celestial Colonnade, which we can get back with our, um, get back with our Life Malums. That's basically it. Those are our win conditions. Um, could maybe consider like one copy of uh, the Seismic Assault, the Bear Assault. It's a three green enchantment, discard a, a land, get a bear, or a card, get a bear, land, get a bear. I think it's a land, get a bear. And um, might be a little light on win conditions here, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're not playing Eternal Witness because we're not playing any uh, any creatures in our deck. And I think playing creatures opens us up, opens us up to removal. Witness is obviously very good with Slide, but, like, I'm not sure what we're witnessing back that we really need to get back. You know, like, getting back a Cycler is worse than getting back a, a Cycling Land. We get loaned back by dredging it. So, like, I don't know what we're actually witnessing back that's super effective, and I couldn't think of any other creatures that have good comes-into-play abilities that we'd want to be, um, 
we want to be using here. So that's the main deck. This is a pretty experimental deck. I played one game with this deck just to see if the mana base functioned. Um, so this is uh, freshly brewed, basically, where the idea of the show is that I build a deck and we just play it. And we have no idea if it's good or not. Uh, just the first draft, you get an idea of what the deck building process is like. Cyborg, we got three Stony Silences, which is great. Obviously good against Tron, Artifact decks, etc. Two Purges. One of the issues, of course, with playing Chalice is we can't play Path to Exile, but against Shadow and things like that, we have Purge. Uh, the fourth Force of Negation for unfair matchups. Uh, two Obstinate Bailoffs for Burn, things like that. Good card to flicker out. We also have a, a second Verdict for Creature Decks. We have two Geist Saint Drafts for Tron and decks that we feel like we need an actual win condition against. And um, Aster Sly can also plow the way here by flickering their stuff. Two Night of Autumn uh, as a kind of catch-all for everything. It's possible this card can even go in the main deck, honestly, because just you can flicker it to gain life, flicker it to kill artifacts and enchantments, and just like a fine creature. And then two Damping Sphere. Oko could be in the sideboard. Uh, it's possible you could play Oko over like Geist Saint Draft as like your uh, alternate win condition in fair matchups, things like that. But screw Oko. I don't want to play it. So that's the deck. Bant Slide, freshly brewed. Let's see what happens, because honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen. Could be good. Could be bad. What do y'all think? Keeper Mulligan. Bant Slide. What is everyone's thoughts? How's the deck look? Look good? Bad? Looks fun. Uh, I actually brewed this deck up like a week or, a week or two ago. I'm look, I was looking forward to playing it for a while now. Um, deck seems super fun. Thoughts on Pioneer? I've already given those for the most part. Um, basically, always excited for a new format because it's just fun to brew decks, but I don't really get why Pioneer exists. Um, we have a lot of formats right now, and the only need we have right now for a format is a format we can play in Arena with our standard cards that rotate. That's the only need Magic has right now for a new format, and Pioneer does not fit that need which doesn't make any sense to me. But um, I'll be doing a Pioneer stream on Thursday afternoon with Todd Anderson. We're both going to brew up four Pioneer decks and jam some games with each other uh, versus live style. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to work. Hydration Bot will thank me. Hydration Bot. Hydration Bot. All right. Later, Tits. Um, his hand's kind of mopey. Um, so yeah, Thursday, Thursday Pioneer stream. My thought is that... They've, they've announced that Pioneer will not come to Arena, which is stupid. They should have announced Pioneer will come to Arena in a year, or a year and a half. And then, on Arena, just slowly keep adding sets and making Historic bigger and bigger and bigger. And then once they, once they get back to RTR, they stop, Historic goes away, and now Pioneer's on Arena. That's what they should have done. But Pioneer will not be on Arena, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So, um, this sounds like pretty bad. We have like our two engine cards, but we don't really have anything else. Um, we could just, like, keep it in YOLO, but I think it's a bad idea. We're gonna mulligan. Uh, this hand is certainly better. Um, look at this hand. This is the hand of the week. This hand is just fun as hell. Um, yes, I agree. It feels like they're trying to sabotage Arena, which makes no sense. I don't think they're intentionally trying to sabotage it, but it feels like that is going to be the result, which seems insane. So, um, right, we're going to keep this. What do we want to ship here? It's probably Factor Fiction. I think you want the Explorer to go with our Bounce Land. We want the Cycler for Illumination. We want the Loam, I think, the Chalice. Yeah, I'll ship Factor Fiction. It's possible Factor Fiction should not be in this deck. But I just could not not play Factor Fiction in my Wilder's Reclamation Life from Alone deck. So, just couldn't help myself. Just couldn't help myself. Excuse me. Shaggy Rogers, what's up, my friend? Welcome. And of course, Nicole didn't bring me a napkin, so why would she ever bring me a napkin? Uh, Nicole's anti napkin. Nicole's anti napkin. Yeah, not a not a good uh, not a good look for wizards. Again, new formats are fun. I'm sure Pioneer will be a fun format, and we can you know it's fun to brew in it and so on and so forth. 
when they figure out the, pro the logistics properly, the way they currently have it does not sound smart. All right, so we're playing against some sort of shadow deck here. Um, right, yeah, we get it. We get it. Free things are cool. Got it. I mean, Chalice of the Void is going to be good. So, if we can draw a land for Chalice. If it don't thought this, obviously, which they're probably going to. Turn one serum visions, all right. Okay. What's up, Matt? Um, it's just a brew. Deck might be good, might not be good. I have no idea. Freshly brewed. Keep or mulligan? Keep or mulligan? The show concept, freshly brewed. Where I play a deck that I brew basically just raw. Like, here's the deck. I just brewed it. Let's just do it and see what happens. Keep or mulligan? All right, so we're going to cycle look for an untapped land. Force negation. That's not an untapped land. Untapped land, please. God damn it. All right. Well, we're playing one bounce land in our deck as a way to rebuy our cycling lands and just, like, keep the lands flowing. Um, but... Mrs. Bobble again. All right, we get it. Mrs. Bobble. All day, every day. So it feels real bad to force a thought seize, but then we have to. Keep our child safe. Might get stubbed, but whatever. Alright, so they play an angler. Um, we have three cards left in there. That's fun. If we get to resolve our chalice here, and then they're not going to have a lot of interaction once our chalice is down. And then hopefully we can draw like a Teferi or some answer to Angler, Slide, whatever, something. Like the fact that we're a Chalice deck is what makes this deck feel reasonable to me. Um, the fact that we are... Um, the fact that we are... Playing Chalice, but also playing kind of a cool fair game too. It's nice. Alright, so big draw step. It's not Teferi. Um... I guess we're going to loam back the Misty. This feels pretty bad. We can explore, but I don't even know what we're looking for by exploring. Yeah, we're going to loam back Misty and then explore. Incredible! Had to watch an ad. I was like, I don't watch ads on Jim's channel. Yeah, why watching ads? You're sub. No ads for subs. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah. I mean, we gotta do something here, unfortunately. We're I'm not we gotta draw like basically to ferry. And not have TBR also. Oh, can I have explored Push Chalice last turn? Am I an idiot? I just miss it. It's very possible. Not good. Not good. We're not going to loam. Because we need to draw a spell of some kind. Yeah. Not great. Not great. We're pretty much just dying to a 5 5 here, which is pretty embarrassing. Like, we can't dredge loams when we cycling lands. We also just haven't drawn any of our eight cycling lands, which kind of sucks, too. I'll right, just draw to fairy. Alright. That was a pretty embarrassing game. Um, let's not do that again. They didn't even thought seize us, you know? 
Okay, okay. Freshly brewed, freshly brewed. Uh, Montague, form of the resub. Welcome back, my friend. All right, so we're going to want uh, the Verdict and the Celestial Purges. We're going to want to cut the three Force Negations. And... Right? I want to cut the Forces? I think I'm going to cut the Forces. We can bring in Geist, too, honestly. Just put them in a spot where we can just kill them. Is that better than Descender's Deliverance? Maybe not. Finding the right mix of cyclers is pretty important. I also have, have graveyard hate too. That would suck. I mean, if we had a drift that game, I guess we didn't, we didn't try any cyclers either. That's a pretty awkward hand. It's a pretty awkward hand. Um, all right, let's try this. It's possible our critical mass of cyclers is not high enough, but I figured the eight cycling lines with the life malomes would be good enough. Um, that may not be the case. All right, we can keep this. Um, we got Loam and a Cycler. Playing every free spell ever. Wow. Just saying go. Feels like a stubborn denial. Like they're scared of uh, a chalice. Gonna cycle uh cycle sandbar. That's not alone. May not be in a green source. Green source, please. They looked at themselves, so they they do, they do not know about my supreme verdict. Celestial colonnade. That's awkward, but fine. Also might want their top card. Yeah, that's true. I'm all ears for uh for end of the battlefield effects, Rock and Borat. All ears. Couldn't think of any good ones. It's part of the fun of freshly brewers, we all get to work together on it. Visions goes bottom, top, go. All right. Cycle Illumination. Forest, awesome. And Sandbar, also awesome. So, pretty sure we just, uh, we could grow a spiral here. But... We can also just cycle Sandbar, cast Life Malone. Just get that rolling. It feels pretty good. Yeah. Cycle Sandbar, sure. I'm a little worried too that we're a little too reliant on the graveyard. So the graveyard hate might be really good against us in post board games. So having a way to get away from graveyards might be kind of cool. Inquisition of Kozilek. Go nuts, my friend. Go nuts. Take that growth spiral. No growth spirals for me. Big fish. Big fish in. Alright, so we're gonna not dredge loam. Damn, that's dirty. Alright, that's gotta be game. 
Uh, Alright. You want to know what Astral Drift does? Well, here it is. This is what it does. This is what it does. I'm pretty sure they can't ever kill us now. Snapcaster Mage on Sarai. Well, we can't flicker Snapcaster Mage. That's true. We also have a Verdict in our hand, too, though, so... Flashback Serum Visions. Yeah, beating Astro Drift seems almost impossible for this deck. Yes, I've been, I've answered the Pioneer question a lot. Um, yep, Scoop. Just You want to know what Astral Drift does? There. That's what it does. They just concede because they can't beat it. That's what it does. Your opponent's blind creatures, Astro Drift is very good. Easy as that. Um, Pioneer. Long and short of it is... I don't know who the format's for. Um, new formats are fun. We're gonna play Pioneer on Thursday. Me and Todd Anderson are gonna do like a kind of like a versus live sort of thing. We're gonna build a bunch of decks each and just play against each other for a few hours uh, on Thursday afternoon. Look for that on stream. Um, new formats are fun. I don't understand the the need for this new format. Um, I'm also pretty. It's not gonna be an arena. So if you want to hear more about it? I'm gonna write about it in my article on Friday on CoolStuffInc.com. And it's funny because, like, it's pretty good for me because I've been playing Standard a lot in the last five or six years, and I have sold almost none of my cards. So I have all the cards for it, you know? But at the same time, I just don't think that makes it a good format, you know? All right, we're going to keep... Um, <laughs> Factor Fiction is probably bad. I just love Factor Fiction. Um, I could see Wizards wanting to kill Legacy, which is wanting... Legacy to be vintage, modern to be legacy, and pioneer to be modern. I could see that. It's definitely a thing. All right, draw step, tranquil thicket. Interesting. Uh, definitely would like the ability to cast Teferi on three. We're in a thicket here. This is a green source. Whatever. We're playing eight cycling lands. Occasionally, we're going to play them tapped. You know. All right, they have a discard spell. It's fun. Nope. Street Wraith? Sure. Thoughtseize? Sure. Took my Celestial Purge and played a Shadow. All right. We could be in trouble here. Deck list on the overlay should be updated. On the Cardboard Live overlay, Life from the Loam. Yeah, I mean, I imagine they're going to have an answer to this Teferi, unfortunately. We're probably in trouble this game. These factor fictions are kind of clunky. Uh, is there a reason to cycle Sandbar now? Not really. Marty! He's the man. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate the host. If you haven't seen Marty's stream, check it out. Traxium. Traxium. Tracks YM. I don't know how to say things ever, but check out Marty's stream. So we're going to snap cast your thoughts, these. That's kind of a tilt. Tracks them. Tracks them. This is pretty good. Uh, pretty good hand here. Just turn two shadow. Turn three thoughts, these again. It's pretty good. We're probably dead here. Factor fictions. Yeah. Moldrifter is just too cute, I think. It it actively requires you to have a... Uh, to have a... Oh, great. Yeah, right on time. Uh, to have a, a slide in player. It's just terrible. Tilt. Uh, 13? I mean, yeah, we we're pretty close to dead. The question is, do I bother playing Chalice? Just like loam, I guess. Try and cycle into some sort of answer for a shadow. Yeah. Okay. So it's so we're 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 feeling it a little bit here. We're feeling it a little bit. Factor vision probably better in slow matchups, but obviously in a matchup like this where they just have I mean this this is a pretty nut draw from our opponent. Like they actually they actually just, just killed us on turn four with double disruption. 
All right, that's fine. That's fine. Factor Fiction, maybe too slow. Maybe too slow. Reflector Mage and a Cyborg, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. All right, so we're all in one. Um, that one was a little tough. A little tough. But that's okay. If I write an article on my feelings on Once Upon a Time in Tron, no. I don't like it, though. I top eight regionals last weekend playing Tron with no Once Upon a Times. Everyone, check out CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs, as well as my articles. Video Monday, Article Friday. Yesterday, yesterday's, yesterday's video was all about uh, Ken Yuka Hero's Embercleave Rotting Region Sword deck from Mythic Championship. That's a fun video. Uh, not going to miss that one. And then Friday, my article will be about the predictions for my pros for the Pro Tour, but I got all five right, as well as Pioneer and the Bannings and everything, basically. So check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order. Go buy some... Uh, some astral drifts. All right, let's go. Sure. Possibly want more uh, to fairies. Nimble obstructionist. I guess if there was ever a deck that wanted nimble obstructionist, it might be this one. But I still think that card sucks. Like more to fairies might be in order. The fairies just so good. All right, so. Some looms. Like with the with the uh with the slide engine and the loam cycling land engine, you might just not need factor fiction. Tranquil thicket all day. Alright, we're gonna play with stabs. Sort of dredgy action. Oh my god. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, no fetch line. Okay, never mind. What's up, Jake? You built Ken's deck last week for an MPQ this weekend? Yeah, I mean, the deck's super sweet. Creeping chill. Alright. I mean, no venge vines. Nothing too crazy. Illumination. Alright, so... I mean, is Bouncing Crab even good? Bouncing Crab might be actively bad because it gives him another creature to cast Revenge Vine. Um, I think we're just growth spiraling. I think. Not a lot of good stuff for this one. Interesting. Yeah, obviously the... Any sort of dredge deck is always good against the slow mid-range deck in game ones for sure. We don't have a lot of a lot of graveyard hate in our sideboard either, honestly. So this is probably gonna be a tough matchup. Um Let's just grow spiral now and see what we draw. Put a land on the battlefield? Yeah. Alright. We'll put Forest in the battlefield. We'll cycle a, a deliverance, I guess. A misty rainforest. Alright. We could like Get an island or a forest cycle like elimination. Seems tough. Seems a little tough. Teferi just seems very odd to fetch land. Oh boy, that's bad. Two creeping chills. Well, if only Teferi could stop creeping chill, you know? It's one of like the one of the few interactions in the modern format where Teferi doesn't does not come up favorably. Comes up favorably in basically every other one. Definitely like not their best hand, but I just don't know what we can do here. We're like not really equipped to like battle this. Like 
guess we just get island and cycle elimination. Oh, we drew factor fiction. <laughs> okay. Uh, breeding pools. They have three, four, five, six. They have eight power in play. We're at ten. Jesus. Creeping chill is absurd. Um, all right. Uh, Mog Monday is over. We already, we already did that. Um, yeah, Fox seems, seems kind of bad. Cycle. Oh, God. Teferi, I mean, Teferi seems terrible in this matchup in particular. But... The issue is that they go super wide and don't really cast their spells. So our Astral Slides are not going to be as good against them. Cow, thanks for watching, my friend. Appreciate it. You folks sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. How's it going? We're playing uh, some Freshly Brewed, where I brew up a deck and we just kind of play it and see how it goes. And uh, so far, we're, we're seeing some serious flaws. That's part of the whole process here. You get to see my deck building process from day zero, basically. All right, they milled a Vengevine. Uh, are we just dead? Glimpse the unthinkable. All right, I think I found a use for Factor Fiction. This is probably better than, like, Fact is worse than Teferi, I think, so. But they get back Amalgam. They have another Grave Crawler in there. Crap. Uh, so it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're basically dead. All right. Okay. Okay. Typically, dredge decks beat up on mid rangey decks. So, unfortunately, we're kind of relying on our graveyards. We don't have Rest in Peace in our sideboard. Um, what does that mean for us? It means. I mean, we get to bring in these cards and go for like a. That's a good slide plan. We're going to cut the, the Fofs and the Reclamations. And we're going to cut the Wrath, too, actually. I don't think that's really what we're, what we're about. Um, I like the two Celestial Purges. Uh, Chalice is still good. They have a lot of one drops. Uh, Dissenter's Deliverance is bad. Enforce Negation is also pretty bad, but it's probably. It's better than a random cycler. Mm. Like, countering a Glimpse is still kind of fine, or an Oko. Um, yeah, the the op the the Fof and Reclamation might just be too cute. Like, Reclamation also seems cool if things are working. But both these cards seem like they're only really good if things are working. Probably need to work more on the engine itself. Um, just fair. I mean, for slower matchups, these cards seem really good. It's obviously, not a good matchup for it. But I right, let's kind of force. We'll even two forces. It's possibly want a third Drake Haven also. Not really sure. Um. Not sure. Could main deck Knight of Autumn. It's like a thing to flicker and do stuff. But let's try again. Chalice of the Void. All right, we're going to keep this hand. It's not great, but we have Chalice on one, which is pretty good against them. So Curator of Mysteries over Fof. Ellipsis. Yeah, the right the right mix of cycling cards is going to be hard to nail down. I think, um, because the cycling lands do a lot of the work for them, you know, by themselves, which is pretty nice. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, I have green mana. All right, don't play glimpse, please. Nor can we have a vegvine. Oh, they got a vegvine. Till. Oh, they have Glimpse, never mind. Two Creeping Chills. Good lord. 
Lordy, Lord, Lord. Okay. Um, that plays. Gives us a little bit of interaction. So let's see if we can win this game. This is a pretty ideal draw for us. I mean, we're, we're missing out on, like, Cyclers and Life Malone and stuff, but, like, I'd imagine Slide... Oh, my God. Slide plus Chalice is pretty good. They have one, two, three prized amalgams. Oh, my God. All right. I think it might be in trouble here. A loam with no cycling lens. Kinda hate to see it. Uh... Street Wraith. I, I agree that the free cycle seems really good with Astral Drift, but losing a life seems pretty tough. It's pretty bad most of the time in that not ideal scenario. I do agree it's kind of cool, but... All right. Um... This is pretty tough. We're just going to say go, and maybe we can chain some cyclers together, I guess. Hollowed Moonlight? That's pretty deep. <laughs> like, you just play some more generic graveyard hate, you know? Well, it's like surgical attractions or something. Um, Alright, so they're gonna play two one drops, get back Vengevine. Yeah, we just don't really have, like, this is just, like, way too wide, way too fast for us. Yeah, I didn't draw any spell anyway. Yeah, we're, we're basically dead. Alright. Alright. Seems like a tough matchup, even if our deck is, like, optimally built, uh, unfortunately. Uh, what kind of graveyard hate can we play? We can't play a lot. We can't play Rest in Beasts. We have but we have our Loam Engine, um, like Tormod's Crypt or something. I guess Crypt also plays a plays with Chalice of the Void, which like Surgical does not. All right, okay, okay. Two top two top matches there for sure, for sure. But we got some things working here. Some things aren't working, but we'll see. What do we get to do here? I want to remind everyone this stream is brought to you by BCWSupplies.com. BCW Supplies. Number one spot for all your gaming needs. That's right. We got the BCW Elite 2 deck guard sleeves. I use the Mulberry matte fronts, the one pictured of the gloss fronts. Uh, your preference is uh, preferential. And uh, we got deck lockers. They got great binders, great inner sleeves. You name it. BCWsupplies.com has it if you're looking for gaming accessories. Check them out. BCWsupplies.com. Use uh, promo code GYM10. Yeah, the Z folios are great. They are great. Check them out. Alright. Fact or fiction? Why must you taunt me like this? Alright. Mulligan. Uh, it's better. I think we're going to ship the fact or fiction, though. Alright, so... Play sandbar. Say go. This deck wishes it had it had Mox uh, Mox Diamond in it, as this deck wants. Illumination. All right, so a little awkward here because we have this. We don't necessarily want to play our Sandbar as a land, but we might have to. We do have double one mana cyclers though. Yeah, we're just gonna say go. This is probably Amulet, I guess. No. Yeah, all right. Sure. We'll show you how to explore. We explore on the end step. Tranquil Thicket. All right. 
Misty Rainforest, right on time. All right. Um. We're just gonna say go. Um, and hard cast illumination. I think. Play Haven right now. We can't even make a creature yet. So. Yeah, we're probably dead. This deck might just be too too fair for what Modern's putting down. I guess Shadow isn't super linear, but um, you know, oh man, they Bajukabog too. Nice graveyard, idiot. All right, so we get Temple Garden, cast Hieroglyphic Illumination, draw Astral Drift. The thing is that like this card is like actively bad against them because the only creature they have is Titan. And we probably can't Astral Drift a Titan uh, if we want to be winning the game. So we're probably in bad shape here, uh, truth be told. But what are we gonna do? You know, what are we gonna do? Probably get tight in this turn, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, uh, I think we're dead. Okay. This magic don't feel so good either. <laughs> I think we, we actively want to play against fair decks. I think that, that that's our... That's what we want. Um, fair decks or unfair decks where Force of Negation is good. And Dredge, Vine, and Primeval Titan are both unfair decks where Force of Negation is not good. Um, which is very problematic, unfortunately. I don't think we can ever beat our opponent. Um, which is unfortunate, you know, it's definitely not cool. I guess Damping Sphere plays, um, I mean, Force doesn't do much. It's probably better than, it still counters Amulet. Like maybe an Oko or something out of a sideboard. All right, let's try this. Damping Sphere is not great. I mean, it just turns their, their bounce lines from two to one, but... Gotta try something, you know? Are you folks just tuning in? Welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. This is Freshly Brewed, the show where I play a deck that I brewed fresh. It's right off the presses. Uh, mistakes and all. You get to learn a little bit about the uh, deck building process. Torpor Orb's a cool one. That's a cool card. Torpor Orb is like good against some things anyway, and then also plays well with Astral Drift against um, against decks that uh, can keep this have come into play abilities. The the reclamations are in the main. I just uh, I cut them. The idea of Reclamation was you could like untap your lands, loam cycle, loam cycle, untap your lands, loam cycle, loam cycle, but it might just be not good. Um, all right, we're gonna want to play Thicket and say go. Chalice on one's like okay, it's not great, but. Shaman? pretty annoying. Nice chalice on one, idiot. So if we draw a white land and we cast a fairy next turn, that'd be cool. Sensors! Not very good. 
It could be playable, honestly. Like, maybe two mana four spike is good enough enough of the time at sensors is okay. Again, I'm not really sure what the proper amount of um of like cyclers is. I agree, we'll just wreck seems a little win more. Uh, if, the form, if the format was fair, it might be nice, but Chalice for zero to stop Summoner's Pact. I mean, I guess this stops Amulet, which could buy us some more time. Hallfound, all right. Plays, I suppose. We're blinking our opponent's stuff. The problem is that when their stuff isn't good to blink, then things get a little awkward. So they have Field of a Dead Boros Garrison and Cavern of Souls in hand. Yeah, that's Tribe Scap. Explosives on zero. Alright. I mean, we have Deliverance to deal with a, uh, an amulet. Planes. I mean... We're, like, sort of doing stuff. Uh, and we could, like, drift and cycle out the Tribe Scout on our end step so they can't use it. I don't hate that, honestly. And then, like, we can keep them from uh, actually going off. I guess they could, like, end step pop this. They can't amulet and cast titan, though, which is pretty good. Alright, so in our end step, we're going to cycle the land. They're going to pop the explosives, which is fine. Get that thingy out of here, draw a card, say go. We'll come back to the, till their end step because it's, it's the beginner, beginning of the next end step. There's, a, there's your amulet. There's your grow chamber. I mean, if they have a way to like play a bunch of lands, this you know doesn't work for us. But so they like, float mana, bounce it, and they have like, a Azusa. Pretty unfortunate. So, yep, that's exactly enough for Titan. Pretty tough, pretty tough. I mean, we could have left up the center's deliverance to deal, deal with the amulet, but I think bouncing, they're sliding out the... Getting slide in play and sliding out the one drop seemed pretty good at the time. Um, we need to progress our board as well. Oh, no. No. No Titan. Wow. Cycle to Laria West? Okay. For Summoner's Pact, top card Slayer Stronghold. All right, so that thing comes back. Growth Spiral. All right. Uh, draw. I mean, we gotta kill the uh, the amulet of vigor, that's for sure. We're gonna probably get rid of their stuff on their turn, also. Um, all right. So we're gonna cast deliverance and cycle illumination. So you could probably just cast a uh, a growth spiral here. Get a. F Forest? Forest Islands. Cast Growth Spiral, see what happens. Life from Alone? That's not bad. We have a Sandbar and a Misty in the graveyard. Alright. I'm going to get to Deliverance and Cycle Illumination. 
I guess I can't cycle two things, so we're going to have to leave them with the Courser in play, but that's fine, I guess. They, they, they can just attack my Teferi, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Alright, so we'll move to our end step. Cycle Illumination. Get rid of this. Draw a card, Drake Haven. All right. Stay on tap. Top card, Forest. It's one, two, three, four. Next top card, Amulet. Bomb it. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird promo, Corsair of Crucifix. That's why I hate promo cards. You see one and you're just like, what the hell is that? Oh, it's that. Would be cool if on Arena or Magic Online you could like default your opponent's stuff. Just like make it use the normal art. You know, like you could just do whatever you want to do. Like I don't like the, the foily effect on Arena. I could just make it so nobody, we don't see that ever. All right, so Teferi's gone. It's fine. It's very kind of did its job already. And then Azusa Lost Batikin comes back. All right. Sandbar. Uh, see, it sucks. We still, we, still, we, still, we still have Teferi in play. We could, like, end step, cycle, loam, cycle, cycle, and kind of do a bunch of stuff. But, all right. I mean, they get to Amulet next turn, and they still have a Grow Chamber in their hand. That's two, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think there's any way out of this. Um, if we draw like exactly a uh, a chalice, yeah. I mean, they just play amulet and play. Semi Crow Chamber, and we're just dead. Alright. That's fine. Matchup seems abysmally bad for us, so. Bolts fly? I have no idea, my friend. Whatever makes you happiest, you know? Okay. So we're learning. We're learning. Um, definitely have not hit the, uh, definitely not hit the, uh, the good side of matchups for what this deck's trying to do, but our deck's also pretty misbuilt because, hey, it's freshly brewed. It's the first draft. We'll go over the deck at the end and I'll talk about how we probably rebuild it and different things we would try. Definitely some pretty serious flaws we've already identified. Unfortunately, Factor Fiction is one of them. I miss Factor Fiction. Factor Fiction is sweet. All right, folks, we're sponsored by Cardboard Live. Cardboard Live, changing the game when it comes to watching Magic on the internet. Of course, you can see the Cardboard Live overlay right now, which uh, shows you what deck I'm playing it's in full awesome detail. And I uh, type in exclamation point decks. You can see all the decks that I've played in the past. And uh, soon you'll be able to buy cards right from the overlay. Super cool. I'm sure you saw it on the Mythic Championship as well. Check out Cardboard Live if you're a streamer. Get involved with them. Contact them to uh, apply for their beta. And get Cardboard Live on your stream too. And if you're a viewer, tell your other streams that you like to watch to do that too. Cardboard Live. The bomb. Also, raise the money for the Goosey Gang. Extra life. Let's help sick children. I should not have a sell that to you. All right. Donate exclamation point goose to in chat to donate to get the link. Uh, that's my squad put together by Knox, and uh, we're raising money for charity. And you should definitely get involved. When you donate, you get honked at. Check it out, Goosey Gang. All right. Let's get a win here. All right. Let's get a win. Love it. Let's keep. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna sandbar on one. We're gonna sandbar on one. Ah, oh, it's my upkeep. I wanna make sure I make these land drops. Flooded strand. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's what we want to see. Supreme Verdict, not what we want to see. That's okay. Uh, 
Opskis, new opt art, fancy, fancy, fancy. Invasion art, best art. All right, we're gonna uh, get breeding pool here. Fire on the old growth spiral. Fire on the old hollow fountain. Then decide if you want to try and resolve a Drake Haven. The tough part about this matchup is gonna be them force of negationing my life from alone to exile it. That sucks. That sucks. That definitely sucks. I think we're just going for it. It's a pretty big game if it resolves. Yep. I'll be playing Pioneer stuff. On Thursday, uh, Todd Anderson and I are going to do a, a Pioneer versus stream. We're going to build four decks and uh, battle against each other, kind of like versus live style. That'll be on Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon at some point. Uh, check the Twitter for the exact start time. We're still, we're still figuring the details out. Opt goes bottom, and Drakehaven resolves. Uh, note to Ferry, please. God damn it. Tilt. Do they have Force of Negation? Honestly, these growth spirals have been a little awkward, too. I feel like they were needed as far as, like, speed goes. Also, blue cards for Force. God damn it. All right. Well, now I probably can't win. Um... All right. Oh, you're low. The fact that Force Negation exiles is actually just terrible for us. Because Loam is like the unbeatable engine against these control decks. Because they, they, they just can't counter Loam every time. But the fact that they have Force Negation makes things really awkward. I only have one green source. Alright, cycle that. Another Loam. Alright. Like, this is what I mean, like, this Life Malone is actually pretty awesome for us. We get to cycle Sandbar, fetch Misty, and then just dredge and loam again and cast loam again. Spell Queller? Mm -hmm. I mean, we have Verdict in our hand, so I guess we can't cast it yet. I guess there's a Teferi Time Raveler in place. So that, does, that doesn't even work. Stupid to fairy time raveler. All right, we're just gonna play this. We see the mana. Yeah, exiling our life alone is pretty frustrating. It's very also pretty frustrating. So if I cast a wrath, we can't even cast our life alone, which just stays in exile because it's a fairy. I don't really have a good answer to the fairy. Dissenter's Deliverance. Oh boy. Alright, well that resolved. So we'll cycle. Uh, Hal, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Happy to have you. I love my YouTube folks. Dredge another sandbar. All right. Let's fetch. Get a forest. I mean, the engine's, uh, 
kind of online here. The problem is, I'm not really sure exactly where we're going, but we are going somewhere. So you can see here, you know, if we have time, um, I don't want to dredge yet. No. If we have time to do things, you know, we get to set up pretty good here. Um, the problem is we need to make sure we can answer stuff. I wonder if I would want an Emmercool. The Promised End. We have sorcery, instant land in our graveyard. I guess not much. You know, enchantment. Could be a thing. It's like a way to win the game. I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's certainly an engine here. You know, part of these freshly brewed things, the idea is just figuring out what works and what doesn't work from the deck. So we can kind of get an idea of, you know, because the, the goal of any brew is not to, to win the, the you know, all your matches immediately. The goal of a brew is to figure out what, what things work and don't work. And then you can apply that to more decks later on if this deck doesn't really work. Um, so that's certainly the goal. And we're certainly seeing some of that here. I get a snap force my loam. Yeah, that's really weird, actually. Chalice of the Void. All right. I mean, I think it's Bounce Chalice of Teferi anyway. All right. Dredge Loam, I guess. Another Astral Drift. I mean, just like, we can't, like, beat the board right now which is like kind of embarrassing I should have just fetched a white source end step I mean we're gonna wrath just to kill the creatures I'm not gonna get our loan back but it's alright I guess I should have cast the chalice first, I guess, but can't cast that one. All I got just says no. Cast this card so you can use it. No. from YouTube. Hardly ever get to watch live. Check. Two month resub. Thanks so much, friend. Appreciate it. That's month number two. I mean, you means you chose to come back. Thanks so much, my friend. Love all my YouTube viewers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Snapcaster Mage? They could have, I, don't, I don't know if they realized that Force, that Force Exiles. I think if they realized that, they would have they would have forced my loam. They might, like, realize it but not consider the, like, why it's good because they clearly should have Snap Forced my, my, loam, my loam and that wouldn't even be in this game anymore. Um... Hal, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Field of Ruin. Stoneforge Mystic. Nice Dissenter's Deliverance I haven't cycled yet. The problem is that we can't actually kill the Batter Skull because it's a fairy. Isn't the fairy annoying? Isn't the fairy the worst? Keeper Mulligan. The fairy is the worst. Ugh. Sort of feast and famine. All right, we're dead. Yeah, we're not interacting enough, for sure. Um, I mean, we haven't drawn an astral slide. The thing is, even then, like we can't astral slide Stoneforge Mystic or or Snapcaster Mage. So, you know what we're missing. Decree of Justice. That card wasn't in Modern Horizons, is it? Why wasn't that card in Modern Horizons? Decree of Justice would be lit. Alright. Uh, we're just dead. I mean, like, we just can't do anything. Like, we are Drake Haven got exiled, right? Yeah. 
All right, so we're we're definitely lacking in some elements here. We're we're the engine sort of works. Like we saw that game, we we drew cards, we cycled things, we played extra lands, we have a bunch of lands in play, but we're not really like doing anything. Um, hmm. So like, I don't think that witness is good. Um. I guess we want four. I guess we want the, all creatures. We are a little soft to like, soft to Teferi in general. Also, um, all right, we're gonna the. I guess we want the deliverances because we're actually playing Snowboard Mystic. Um, what do we want here? Like, Reclamation's like kind of good against them. So it's Factor Fiction. Honestly, we're just playing a longer game. What do we cut though? Kind of like explore. I guess Astral Drift isn't great against them. It's like it's like fine, but not like amazing. Like shave two of those maybe. Um, Chalice. I guess Chalice is bad actually. Chalice stops Path to Exile. Opt. And that's it. Yeah. All right. No Chalice. Chalice is gone. Let's leave in uh, kind of the third drift. Let's try this. We're, we're certainly missing something here. Um, so feel free to throw your ideas in chat because the engine sort of works, but we're not finding the right payoff. Um, hmm. We're missing a cohesive game plan? Well, yeah, that's obviously my point. <laughs> we have an interesting engine here with the loam, the cycling lands. The drift's been pretty good when we draw it. Tyler's Tracker? Ooh. Ooh, Tyler's Tracker. Oko's like fine. Doesn't play very well with uh doesn't play very well with uh with the uh, Astral Slide. Knight of the Reliquary. <laughs> the Niv Mizzet that pings whenever you draw a card. If you can resolve a six mana Niv Mizzet, you probably win the game anyway, you know? Um, pretty sure we just colonnade, cycle sandbar here. Again, it, it, if Force of Negation didn't exile, you know, uh, the problem also is that like we're 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 kind of a graveyard deck, but we're not like a graveyard deck. So the fact that like Rest in Peace is good against us, um, kind of sucks. Stoneford Mystic, sure. Wouldn't miracles be good? Why would miracles be good? Batter skull. I mean, batter skull is much worse than a sword. Cycle. Drake Haven. All right. I can see the slimy Drake Haven here. Growth spiral. Let's just get it. This also might eat a force, so our loan can survive. Mm. The deck certainly looks cool. It looks really fun. It's, it's been playing pretty fun. We're just, like, lacking in ways to interact. But you don't have twice, because it's only your first draw truck. So, Miracle only triggers in your first draw step. Alright, um, 
I'm scared they have swords in their hand already, but I guess we're going to loam here. Uh, we're 0-3. We've we, we been getting crushed pretty hard. We lost to, like, Amulet, which seems unbeatable. Bridge Vine, which seems really hard. We lost a close one to Shadow, where we just had, like, too many factor evictions in our hand. They were probably pretty bad. First draw of a turn. Yeah, but, like, I mean... Spell Queller. God damn it. Um, that sucks. Alright. I mean, yeah, we're kind of... The fact that they get exile my loam so it's really bad. Why 2 Colonnade? It's a way to win the game. You just attack them with it. And you have life of the loam and stuff. Misty Rainforest. Yeah, losing our alarm sucks. Uh, maybe I should let the, let the Wraths in. Morning, everyone. How's it going? Welcome. Yeah, losing loam really sucks. Jeez. Oh, boy. I mean, loams are there to cycle. Like, loams plus cycle lands are a really good engine. Pioneer, I've answered this a hundred million times on stream already. I think new formats are fun. I don't know who the target audience for Pioneer is. Doesn't seem to, f f to fulfill any need Magic currently has right now. Um, I'll, I'll be doing a Pioneer stream on Thursday with Todd Anderson. We're each, each going to brew up a bunch of Pioneer decks and play. Uh, I'll write more about it in my article on Friday. Coolstuffinc.com Gifts Ungiven is like super, super, super dirtily. Um, I mean... I brought in the knights. I guess I could just bounce the stupid thing anyway. <sighs> huh. Alright, I guess that plays. Uh kinda plays. They just buy it back, obviously, but we have to, like, you know, not die, I suppose. Alright, the bounce batter skull is fine. So, yeah, the loam, the loam cycle line engine is cool. We should have find something better to do with it, I think. Uh, no Pioneer today. Pioneer on Thursday. Pioneer on Thursday. I mean, Field of the Dead's, like, really, really slow. Like, what would, what would Field of the Dead do this game? You know, like, even if we can make a zombie next turn, I don't think it really affects the game that much. Field of Ruin. All right. Uh, I mean, we could just cast Baloth, I guess, which would buy us some time, but... Yeah, I... I, I, I Eula's Confluence is a thing. It's definitely a thing. Um... This is definitely a game we wish we had wish we had Astral Slide. Hmm. 
Or Geist. I, I, mean, I probably should not have brought in Geist. I should have just left the Wraths in. I think that was a mistake. Flame Jab Aria Flame. Aren't we only losing to Flying here? I mean... I The Batter Skull is still a problem. We're not really there yet, you know? How do you get a Your Deck Live? You're a sub. Hop on the sub Discord and message me on, on Discord. Right now, Your Deck Live is beta testing for subs only. All the information for it is in the Discord. All right, so the germ is back. I might just take one hit here. If we can find an astral slide, like, it has to resolve, obviously, but, like, we could, like, slide the spell crawler, cast life below him, slide over stuff. I should, I, I board it badly. Um, like, I almost don't want to, I guess I just block, just buy more time. Alright, um... Okay. That's a start. Lombak Thicket, Sandbar, Misty Rainforest? Okay. With Force to defend it? Alright, this is... We're breaking totally new ground here. Absolutely. We are... We are pressing buttons and trying to see what works here. And uh, obviously some things are working, some things are not working. And that's good. That's the whole point of the Freshly Brewed is to learn. Guys, is in a cyborg. We, we, we brought it in, but I think I think we shouldn't have. I think it was a mistake to bring it in. Um, cycle Sandbar. No dredge. Yeah. Obviously, I was just talking about how you shouldn't be in the deck and I just draw another one. Thanks a lot, Geist Saint Draft. All right. Um, I think they screwed up. I think they were trying to activate Stone Forge in response Batter Skull. That's 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 what you're supposed to do to uh. When you bounce batter skull, so they kill your stone forge, you can still put it into play. But uh, they just didn't hold control, so <laughs> that's good for us. We have field of ruin for the ghost quarter shenanigans. All right, so we, we that that just bought us a lot of time, which is really really cool. Um, honestly, they they screwed up their uh, replaying batter skull by trying to be too cute. Love it, love it. All right, so end step. Let's fetch a breeding pool. Could field their colonnade, but I, I, would, I probably should have fielded their field, maybe. No, that's fine. All right, untap. We'll dredge Lum. Oh, man. All right, sandbar, misty. Let's cycle thicket. Another loam. Loams for days. Uh, Alright. It's loam back, thicket, sandbar, misty. We're at seven right now. It's not ideal. Um, Cycle sandbar thicket. Let's cast loam. 
Our mana's kind of awkward here, which should kind of light on green. We also have a white land as our only basic left. This is getting pretty awkward. What's up, Troll? Yep, this is my brew. This is Freshly Brewed. The show where I brew up a deck and we just try it out. First draft. A lot of deck, a lot of deck, a lot of deck, a lot of deck. A lot of deck building mistakes here, which we're going to go over at the end. This is not meant to be a picture perfect extra perfect uh, deck here. Alright, so we're going to block with Geist because Geist sucks. First day of the new tongue. Yeah, just bought it on eBay. Might need to send that one back. Alright, so... I kind of want to just field now just to get this thing out of the way. I don't have to keep, don't have to leave mana up for it. Yep, we're playing Golostron next. Golostron. So we have like infinite mana and infinite cards, but the problem is that we're not necessarily doing things that matter. Uh, Astral Slot. All right, don't want to loam yet? No. If we can loam later. Reclamation? Oh my god. Um, talk about dirtling. Alright, so we're going to cycle a stand bar. No dredge. Road spiral. Cycle a thicket. No dredge. That's not bad. Um... Play a bail off. Faith of the Devoted. Yeah, that's like strictly worse. That's a lot worse than than like lightning, uh, whatever. I can't force negation that. Oh man, we're just dead. All right. So the the good thing is that clearly the engine sort of works. You know, like this game we have. It's turn ten. We have ten lands in play. Six cards in our hand, and our engine is cooking. Uh, the problem is we're just not doing anything. <laughs> um, so, like, the part of a deck works. It's not like a failed... It's not like the deck is a, is a total failure. Uh, we're just not doing the right things with our engine, which is good, because this is a totally new thing we're trying to do here, and, frankly, you're not going to get it on the first shot, you know? So, yes, the new Cardboard Live overlay is awesome. Okay. Yeah, Reclamation is terrible. I agree. So, we're 0-4. We're Again, I think the Shadow matchup, we could have easily won that one. Um, if you didn't draw all these Factor Fictions. And then some of those matchups seem pretty bad. Uh, Spider-Man, I do, I, do, I do deck techs that are 10 bucks. I'll go over your deck for 5 minutes give my feedback and stuff. Cannon Spectacle, 17-month resale. Welcome back, my friend. Jam 4 Carnage Tyrant. Boom. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. Remember, folks, raise the money for the children. For the children. That's what I should point Goose in chat. Let's raise some money. All right? How about the merfolk that makes elementals and you cast a spell? We're not really casting spells, you know? If lightning rift was legal, ooh, boy. Raise your hand in chat if you remember lightning rift astral slot. Montague, thanks for watching, my friend. Appreciate it. Raise your hand in chat if you remember. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to play Goblins and Pioneer. Don't worry. That'll be a Mog Monday thing. All right, don't you worry. Who remembers back in the day? The green white astral slide deck that won worlds. So this is what we need. There's Astral Slide, the original. That's the OG. 
Eternal Dragon, Eternal Witness, Viridian Shaman, Wrath of Gods, Rampant Growths, Renewed Faith. We have that card. That card is legal. But we're missing Decree of Justice. Why couldn't this card have been in Modern Horizons? Why did they put Ren and Six and Plague Engineer in Modern Horizons and not put Decree of Justice? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Messiah! What's up, my friend? Welcome. Um, I've given my thoughts on a Pioneer many, many times. Basic, long and short of it is, um, new formats are fun. I'm going to brew in it. Todd Anderson and I are going to do a stream on Thursday afternoon. Uh, we both built four Pioneer decks and battle against each other versus Lifestyle. Um, I think that uh, it not being on Arena is very stupid. Um, if you want to see my full thoughts, read my article on uh, read my article on CoolStuffInc.com on Friday. This hand is keepable. Let's get a match win here. Let's get a match win. Opponent says, oh, hey Jim, I'm currently one and three of this league. So I'm going to concede after the second game regardless. Ha. I got you beat. I'm 0-4. Oh, Don't. No worries. All right. Um, we're going to play Rainforest and say go. We're gonna probably cycle something, play Azorius Chancery. Oh god. This is how we're gonna end our 04 by getting crushed by Tron. Oh god. Alright, um Yeah. We have a field of ruin at least. Cycle sandbar, I guess. Force negation? Alright. Force negation plays. Growth spiral. All right, let's cycle elimination. Just the perfect landing a card, you know. Oh, we're playing Tron next. We're playing Golos Tron next, though. We're not playing rude, rude, mean Mister Tron. Sylvan scrying. I mean. We counter this and field them. It's pretty good. I'm gonna counter this, so I can slam Drake Haven next turn, and then we can just field it, field them, field them the following turn, and try and go off of that. They have a full seven card hand. We're not gonna beat all the cards. They have one force of will. Let's just slam jam. Astral drift. That's okay. I'm gonna hide. I can conceal my field too. Yep, Golos, Golos, Cascading Cataract, Tron, coming up next. Expedition map. Oh, I. Life from along. Hello. By the way, after playing around Magic Online, uh, Magic the Arena Online, what's that? Confusing as hell. All right, so we're gonna say go. We're gonna field them in their draw step. Field bus loam is pretty nice. Hit me. Oh, Magic Online. Yeah, Magic Online is a little, a little antiquated. You know, it's not a, it's not a smooth experience. There's a reason why Arena exists. Uh, but you want to play Modern and Pioneer, apparently, uh, that's what you got to have. Chromatic Star, sure. Chromatic Sphere, sure. Probably should cycle through those. No reason to have two of those in play, but sure. Drake. Wow, 
Why didn't they get a land? Did they misclick or something? Alright, um... Lone back field, sandbar, tranquil thicket. Yeah, my full thoughts on Pioneer and Arenas that will be in my article on uh, on Friday, so stay tuned for that. This member, which member? All right. I mean. Peterland. Nurturing Peterland. Oh no, Karn. What are they gonna get? We have deliverance in our hands, so. They just plussed it? Alright. Um I don't think I want to dredge loam here. Yeah, yeah, I do. And I want to cycle Drake, cycle Drake, cycle Drake. Or cycle Drake, cycle Drake, cast Deliverance. So, I'd rather just draw cards. Sandbar is short. So there you go. Once the payoff for dredging lands, we get the Sandbar over and over and over again. Look at all the card advantage we have. It's insane. I guess we didn't feel bad. We didn't get, we didn't get back a field. Alright. Choose your artifact. So maybe like we could have loamed, made a Drake, and then descend or deliveranced. But making multiple Drakes seems really important here. Liquid metal coating. Sure. Chromatic sphere, sure. Make green, sure. You got it. Or is it mine? Alright. Still going. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, uh, we're gonna get, sure, get Temple Garden. Actually, I didn't even need to do that. I forgot I had a Chancery in play, or whatever. I don't think our light all matters too much. Uh, no Dredge, Illumination. Nah. Cycle sandbar. Yes, please. No dredge. And then I mean, we're just gonna kill the car anyway. It's not that the coding matters at all. Oh yeah, I was counting chancery. I'm I'm stupid. I'm just don't listen to me. Just don't listen to a word that I say. Nothing I say makes any sense. Roseboro. Alright. That's actually pretty good. Um, so now we're going to dredge loam. Oh, I mean, so I can't use the chancery? I mean, so I just, I just add Karn, it's fine. Sure. Alright, so dredge loam. Hit some stuff. Uh, let's kill the old Karn skis here. Regain mobility of my Azorius Chancery, which is an artifact now, just in case you're wondering. Um, loam back. Sandbar, sandbar, Field of Ruin. Play Field of Ruin. Field of Ruin. Get a land of some kind. And they're at 14. Could just shatter this expedition map. They're getting kind of close to just like casting stuff. I'm just gonna play the slide. All 
Yeah. Strictly better Ancient Dead and Seed of Cyanide, you know? I mean, this game's actually going, like, pretty well. Um, <laughs> all things considered. I thought Tron would crush us, but... Field of Ruin Life Malone has been uh, pretty nice. Alright, so we're going to dredge again. Uh, sure. Let's attack first. Yeah, I think Karn sucks. Uh, Field of Ruin, Tranquil Thicket, Tranquil Thicket. I should have gotten a, a Misty Rainforest, that was stupid. Yeah, whatever. Field ya. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Should have gotten the planes, probably, because I can't fetch for a land of a type. Um, there are eight. I'm going to play some lands so I have more mana next turn. Um, I have enough for lethal, so I'm just going to explore. No dredge. Verdict. Uh, I'm just going to play a thicket and a sand. Nope, not a sandbar. I already did that. All right, so we'll just say go here. We'll ship, uh, I guess, just a land because we have a million lands. We have loam, so... Ah, I discarded a hand size. I can also make a make a Drake. It's pretty cute, but we're not going to. I'm just gonna hold it. Golstron is next. If we didn't have Drake Haven, we could have been like aggressively. Loaming, exploring, and double fielding them like two card two times a turn and stuff like that, but oh no, not worm coil engine. Make a thing, flicker your thing, do all the things. Yeah yeah. That was pretty convincing. That was pretty convincing. And for the brutal beatings we've taken so far, you know. Oh, if we didn't have Field of Ruin, we had no chance that game, for sure. But we did have Field of Ruin, so we had lots of chances. Um, I think that's... Uh, uh, I'm good. I think uh, Astral Slide's, like, kind of medium. Like, it deals with Worm Coil, that's really it, though. Fairy Time Raveler is also not great. Uh, Force is great. Damping Sphere is great. Geist is good. Pioneer is on Thursday, my friends. Thursday, Pioneer. I'm going to cut to Fairy. Maybe we'll bring a Leap Reclamation in. Yeah, makes yours a little awkward, but we're kind of like cycling instead of casting spells, so. <sighs> Muting myself while eating is a very considerate thing to do, and I applaud you for doing it. Well, I appreciate that. I, That's a, a thing that uh, I didn't do for a while, and now I do. I'm trying to improve things for y'all. I know it's no fun here, so I'm going to go eat and stuff. No mook bang here. No mook bang here. All right. Um... I'm going to draw. Put him against the six. This hand's pretty bad. We're going to mulligan. I don't think this hand can like actually beat anything. We only have two Field of Ruins, so... We got Stony. We're going to keep this. Stony Silence for days. Um, let's ship the Drift. 
I don't think Drift is like that important. Turn two stone is pretty huge, so. Put them all against a five, which is what every Gatron player should do every time. Second Celestial Colonnade. A little worse than the first. Chromatic Star off the stirrings. And no land. Wow. Uh, concession in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drake Haven's been pretty good. Maybe you want more Drake Havens, honestly. I feel like when we draw Drake Haven, I'm... All right, well, maybe... <laughs> Not right now. I feel like when we draw Drake Haven, I'm actually pretty happy. Um, just, like, a card that does things. And, like, also, you can pitch, you can pitch extra copies to Force anyway, so... Astral Drift. Your buddy has a Drake token with, with Drake on it. Nice. You used to call me on my cell phone. Alright. Stony Silence number two. Alright. I want to keep the Haven for Force, I guess. May exile. All right. Um. I think I just play the second, the second Stony in case they mize a uh, uh, nature's claim or whatever. We're making a Drake. Just kill our opponent. We're not going to astral slide nothing here. Pawn says it would nice. It would be nice to draw something that isn't an artifact. Yeah, well, that's what Sony Silence does. I'm so stupid. I, I, I'm an idiot. I thought I had enough mana to, to make a token. I shouldn't have cycled that. I'm an idiot. I don't know what I was thinking. It, it, I thought it cost two, not three. All right, that's fine. Growth Spiral. I mean, now with Growth Spiral, I, I just cast Drake Haven, I guess, so... I don't think it matters, honestly. Whatever. I probably just mana screwed and they're under double stony silence. Who cares? Yes, please. Maybe three is the right number for the Drake Haven. Oh boy. Oh, we drew life from alone. Oh, it's on. It's on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's take our match into the bank here, all right? We didn't get we didn't get wrecked. We didn't get totally wrecked. So, Freshly brewed, Bant Astral Slide. Were there problems? Absolutely. Um, was it fun? Yeah. That deck was pretty sweet. Um, let's take a look at the deck. So, what worked and didn't, didn't work. What worked and didn't work. Can I talk? Can I speak? Um, I rate. Good game, my friend. Um, so... Factor Fiction and Reclamation both seemed way too win more. Uh, I don't think his Explorer is necessary. The Spirals were good, but I don't think the more Explorer effects are necessary. Um, wouldn't mind another field. The Bounce Line wasn't great. Those are all nitpicky things. The big, the big thing is that like we need to find a... to make sure we're doing something. Um, we... probably want another Drake Haven. Uh... Chalice was fine. It should be good in this format, but the, the way our matchups lined up, it didn't. It wasn't very good. 
but it is usually good. So like, it's hard to hard to say exactly. Um, we played against like you know Vengevine Dredge and like Blue White Control and Amulet, where it wasn't very good, but. Uh, the verdict was fine, not great. Um, wouldn't be bad to find a main deck creature that we could slide for value. We could play like Coiling Oracle over Growth Spiral. Um, that's probably a little too cute though, and it just turns on their creature removal that wasn't on before. Um, witness doesn't seem good because what are we actually witnessing back? Like, maybe you want, like, one witness, but, like, realistically, like, what do I witness back? Like, an astral slide, maybe? We already, you know, if you already have a slide, we're doing that. Like, a force negation. All of our cycling cards are just cycling cards. Loam gets back to cycling lands. Um, so, like, the witness doesn't even seem good. I don't even know what we get back with it, you know? And it's, it's very fragile. It's very it's very slow and clunky. Um we could, I could, I could see trying a version with four coiling oracles, uh, in place of growth spiral. We're playing enough lands where it's gonna hit like pretty often, um, and be kind of better than growth spiral. Um, and then obviously if we get if we get drift going, we can kind of go nuts with it, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. We need some sort of a plan. I did like the field of ruins a lot. Um. Because being able to kind of just field every turn with loam is pretty good. I would love an I love, would love the ability to play more lands, um, like like two lands in a row. The snake that flies. Uh, the problem is we're not playing enough snow lands. We have too many non snow lands. Um, yeah, I don't know. Renegade Rallyer? That's actually really good. I like that a lot, Sane. Rallyer? So Rallyer can get back... It mostly just gets back lands, but it's a good thing to slide. It, it's it's kind of a ramp spell. It also blocks, too. Um, What if we just played Rallyer and the Snake? That's actually pretty interesting. I like where your head's at, Sane. I like where your head's at. That plays reasonably well. What does Astral Drift do? You can tell that people who haven't played with Astral Slide before. Um, Astral Slide makes your opponent not be able to attack you ever. <laughs> you just keep cycling their creatures out and they can't do anything. Where would Sword is just like not very good. Um, I would play like Oracle of Moldiah or even Azusa first. Tyler's Tracker is definitely a possible sideboard card. That card might be better than like... Maybe better than Geist in the board. Um, Keeper Mulligan, do y'all want to see more of this deck? Yes or no? Field of the Dead makes the mana base too weird. I like the coiling, the coiling Oracle rally or idea a lot. Stonehorn Dignitary, that's too cute. I think it's too cute. Um, do I prefer Arena or Magic Online? Arena, but Online's fun. Tyler Striker. All right, cool. So we'll work more on this. We'll work more on this one. I like this deck. It's obviously went 1-4, and the deck is not there at all yet. But um, I like the idea of what's happening here. I like the idea of uh, what's happening here. Cool. So we'll see more of this deck in the future. That's it for this episode of Freshly Brewed on this deck. We have more magic to play. We're playing Golos Tron next. If you're watching on YouTube, that's it for uh, the video. The video's over. So like, subscribe, comment, make downward finger motions like you're typing. All right, YouTube folks, I love you.